As pilots, we know we're responsible for the safety of the passengers we have on board, but we're also responsible for the safety of those we encounter on runways and taxiways. Hi, I'm Mark Ward, a fellow general aviation pilot and also a flight instructor. Hayward Executive Airport in California is a general aviation facility with a diverse mix of traffic and pilot experience. In this video, we focus on three runway safety issues at Hayward. Atypical hold markings, wrong surface landings, and movement area authorization. Hayward has seen a 200% increase in runway incursions in the past 24 months. Over 70% of these incursions were caused by expectation bias, distractions, and a loss of situational awareness. You may be thinking, this could never happen to me, but unfortunately it does happen, and it can just as easily happen to you. Let's take a look at surface risk and best practices you can use at Haywood Executive Airport to prevent runway incursions from happening to you. First, remember that ATC is there for you. If you are ever uncertain, don't hesitate to ask ATC to clarify an instruction or a clearance. Next, once you receive initial taxi instructions, write them down or highlight them on an airport diagram in your electronic flight bag. Airfield familiarization is a key factor in the reduction of runway incursions. The biggest contrast Hayward has with airport operations across the country is the atypical location of the runway holding position markings for runway 28 left on taxiways Alpha 1 and Zulu 1. The runway holding position markings are located on the parallel taxiways several hundred feet before the end of the runway and can easily be missed if pilots are expecting to see them closer to a normal runway. Almost half of all incursions at Hayward are the result of this expectation bias. Be sure to maintain situational awareness while you taxi so you can avoid making a potentially dangerous mistake. Pilots arriving at Hayward are also at risk of a wrong surface landing. When aircraft are landing to the east, some pilots anticipate landing on runway 10 left because the runway is closer to the ramp or they've landed on that runway before. This expectation bias causes them to land on 10 left when they've received ATC instructions to land on 10 right, regardless of providing a correct readback. Also, when aircraft are landing to the west, the runway thresholds are offset in excess of 2,000 feet, with the narrower and shorter runway being further away from the more prominent runway 28 left threshold. This contributes to pilots landing on 28 left when they're cleared for runway 28 right. Take a look at the geometry of the taxiways, runways, and hangars at Hayward. There is not much distance between the non-movement areas and the runway, creating a situation which aircraft exit the runway or vehicles enter the movement area without contacting ATC. Pilots should take note of hot spots two, three, and four as they identify the common locations these occur. Most of the ramp areas north of Taxiway Alpha are non-movement areas, not controlled by ATC, and with many areas not visible to the tower, pilots should exercise caution when operating in these areas. By using these best practices when operating at Hayward Executive Airport, and by sharing your knowledge with fellow pilots, we can reduce general aviation runway incursions. Working together, we can all contribute to the safest aviation system in the world. Look, listen, focus. Lives are at stake.